All right, so this is our very old bathroom, probably late 50s, early 60s was when our house was built, and we're going to do a remodel. So you can see the terrible track bulb lighting, green bathtub, track shower door, green toilet, green sink. Um, it just felt really small in here and really old, and we... When we moved in, the floor wasn't done, so we did at one time put tile down on the floor, but it was like leftover tile, so it's like a hodgepodge of tile, as you can see. So we tried to keep it the best we could, but it was time for a change. So here it is as they start ripping up the tile. And as expected, you can see the floor is moldy and it's actually sinking towards the toilet because there was a leak in the toilet seal. So that's fun. So this smelled really musty and gross. And they had to rip out all of the subfloor, which we knew would happen. They ended up adding a, um, a couple of new beams and scabbing onto one of the other beams so we could get a nice solid foundation there. So now we've got some sheetrock up. You guys, this took forever. Let me tell you, they said it would take them like a week and it was like two months. So that's a whole nother story, but it's coming along quickly in these little video because we're just seeing little clips. But we're gonna take out this window and that's gonna be a shelf with a little window at the top for light. I'm really glad we did that. So there it is with the window showing and that shelf will be all tiled in and yeah, coming along, love the natural light. So glad we decided to keep that. All right, so they've got the tile up in the bathroom and tile coming along on the floor. So I'm in love with this white subway tile with black grout. All right, and there it is with the window and the floor is just about done. Also love the, um, is it a hexagon tile on the floor? Yes. And then inside the shower on the floor, we also have little mini hexagon tiles. So we did add a um, overhead shower in here. It's like a, you'll see, it's a rainfall shower. Um, so this is still being worked on and we're adding something underneath the sink there Which you're gonna see now. So it's just a box. There's no storage underneath the sink because that just gets gross I don't like it. So it's fully open under there and I love the tile All right, so this is present day I cleaned up the bathroom a little to make this video But we ended up firing this company before the shower door was hung. So my husband and his buddy hung the beautiful glass shower door. It's not totally perfect, but it is an amazing, solid, very expensive shower door, so I'm glad they were able to get it up. I just, I'm so glad we did this. It was a total headache, I'll tell you that. It was very expensive, and um, it was a mess, but I'm so glad we did it still, and I just feel clean and lovely every time I take a shower in here. So the door's a little bit off right there, but not on the bottom. So it doesn't leak or anything. Um, I What else am I going to tell you? I love it. I love the rainfall shower. Um, I'm going to get a better mirror soon. I just I needed something. So it's hard to find the shape of mirror that I wanted. Um, they also left a hole where they moved the light or the electric fixture up and they used terrible like particle board for this thing so it wasn't ideal but I didn't even say anything like on their website or anything just because it's a small town but there was there was so much drama I can't even tell you so yeah we got our bathroom I love we have a new little light fixture I'm not sure if I'm going to show it I wish I'd gotten more storage this is all I have is those two shelves and then I have an open shelf there um, also there's a lot of missing black grout so my husband said he'll go in eventually and re-grout but there's a lot where I'm taking a shower and I'm like oh my god you missed a spot you missed another spot and it drives me crazy so I'm working on not looking at it 
Um, some of it needs like some more sealant. But all in all, I think it came out really beautiful. Um, the floor tile was really stained with whatever they used, so I've been trying to work on that. Um, still lovely. And the rainfall shower also has like a handheld thing with it. We just got that at Lowe's. It's really cool. Um, lots of water pressure on that one. So yeah, what do you guys think of the subway tile? And this is what it looks like when you're in the shower. Bathroom looks way more spacious. Clean. It's a tiny bathroom too. The last thing I have to do is paint the back of this door white and probably put a mirror on the back. Because it's still the original door. So thanks for watching, you guys, and have an awesome day. Leave me a comment. Bye.